for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975. Curdy and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Mrs. Bessie Williams, age 80, of Goodwater, died Tuesday at Goodwater Healthcare Center. Curdy and Son Funeral Home will announce the funeral arrangements later today. The station for Mr. John Pody of Sylacauga will be Thursday evening, 5 to 7, at Curdy and Son North, with entombment in Evergreen Mausoleum, uh, graveside on Friday morning at 11 a.m. Curtis and Son Funeral Home will direct that service. Funeral service for Mrs. Barbara Callan of uh, Vincent. Uh, that service will be this morning at 10 a.m. from Curtis and Son Funeral Home Childersburg Chapel. Burial in the Vincent City Cemetery. I'll be officiating that service. Uh, visitation from 9 until 10 prior to the service. Curtis and Son Funeral Home Childersburg Chapel directing. Funeral service for Mr. William Allen Claybrook. Uh, will be today at 2 p.m. from Curtis and Son North. I'll be officiating that service as well. Evergreen Cemetery is the site of the uh, burial. Online condolences at CurtisandSonFH.com. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel Directing. Mrs. Susan Renee Benefield, age 24, of Childersburg, died September 20th in Birmingham. She was a member of the Papertown Baptist Church in Alpine and a member of the Vincent Volunteer Fire Department. She's a 2013 graduate of Childersburg High School. Funeral service will be held Thursday at 2 o'clock from Earthsbury Funeral Home in Pell City with Brother Michael Frost officiating interment in the Mount Carmel Cemetery. The family receiving friends this evening 5 to 7 at the funeral home. In lieu of flowers, donations can be made to the Vincent Volunteer Fire Department Condolences offered online at EarthsfreeFuneralHome.com. Earthsfree Funeral Home in Pell City in charge of the arrangements. Mr. Jack Milton Curtis, age 91, died at his residence on Sunday. Mr. Curtis was uh, involved uh, impacting uh, thousands of children in his 34 years of service as business administrator of the Alabama Baptist Children's Homes and Family Ministries from 1964 to 1968. He also received a commendation from the State of Alabama House of Representatives in 1998 for his outstanding achievements with the Alabama Baptist Children's Homes and Ministries. Visitation will be Saturday at 10 a.m., with a funeral service beginning at 11 at Ursary Brown Service Funeral Home in Talladega. Burial in the Oak Hill Cemetery. In lieu of flowers, donations can be made in Mr. Jack Milton Curtis' memory uh, to the Alabama Baptist Children's Homes and Family Ministries at www.alabamachild.org. Online condolences at ursaryfuneralhome.com. Ursary Funeral Home in Talladega directing. Mr. Curtis was a member of the First Baptist Church in Alexander City. James Wendell Burns, age 55, of Munford, died September 22nd. Funeral service at 11 o'clock Friday at Ursary Funeral Home in Talladega with Rusty Stevens officiating. Visitation will be 6 until 8 o'clock uh, tonight at the funeral home. Excuse me, that will be Thursday. Visitation Thursday night, 6 until 8 o'clock uh, at the funeral home. In lieu of flowers, donations can be made to the Epilepsy Foundation of Alabama, 3100 Lorna Road, Suite 300, Birmingham, Alabama, 35216. Online condolences at EarthsfreeFuneralHome.com, Earthsfree Funeral Home, Talladega, directing. Mrs. Bertha L. Cheatham, age 62, died September 22nd, Community Funeral Home, announcing... Funeral service for Geraldine Dean Phillips Haynes, age 89, will be Thursday at 2 o'clock from the Chapel of Kilgore Funeral Home, interment in the Lincoln Cemetery. The family receiving friends on Thursday noon until service time. Ms. Haynes died Monday, September 23rd. Uh, she was a member of the Lincoln Baptist Church and New Covenant Baptist Church. Online condolences to the Haynes family at KilgoreFH.com. Kilgore Funeral Home, Pell City Directing. Celebration of life for Mr. Earl, uh, Billy Earl Isom, better known as Papa Rock, age 77, is Thursday at Mount Pisgah Baptist Church in Elmore County. That service starts at 1 o'clock. Pastor Roderick Stallworth officiating. 
burial in the Mount Pisgah Baptist Church Cemetery. Visitation is today, 3 until 8 o'clock at the funeral home. Mr. Isom died at uh, Mr. Isom died at his residence in Sylacauga. Online condolences at communityfuneralhome.org. Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga in charge of the arrangements. Alicia Jones, age 36, died September 23rd, Terry's Metropolitan Mortuary announcing. And uh, we mentioned about Mr. John Hurt Pody, age 77, who passed away Monday at Jackson Hospital in Montgomery. Uh, Mr. Pody was a member of the Marble City Baptist Church. And the graveside service will be held Friday at Evergreen Cemetery's Mausoleum at 11 a.m., Station uh, Thursday evening, 5 till 8 o'clock. And uh, the family requested in lieu of flowers, donation be made to the Parkinson's Foundation, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel Directing. Memorial service for Mr. Ronald Owen Bradford, age 71, will be today at 11 o'clock in the Chapel of Radley Funeral Home. Reverend Benny Lee Yates will officiate burial in the Hillview Memorial Park. The family receiving friends this morning, 10 until 11, at the funeral home. Radley Funeral Home in charge of the arrangements. And this morning as well in obituary news, uh, funeral service for Carolyn Stone Grizzle, age 82 of Sylacauga, is today at 2 o'clock from the chapel of Randy Smith Funeral Home. Reverend Todd Dean, along with Reverend Dwayne Sherum officiating, burial in the Evergreen Cemetery. Ms. Grizzle died Sunday, September 22nd at Sylacauga Health and Rehab. She was a member of the Five Points Baptist Church. Uh, in lieu of flowers, donation can be made to the Five Points Baptist Church Youth Fund or a place of hope orphanage in Montgomery. Memorial messages may be sent to the family at randysmith.com, Randy Smith Funeral Home Directing. These obituaries presented this morning by Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg.